What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be doing an entire collection showcase. Now, it has been, I think, a little over a year. Or it might be a little, uh, I think it might be at or a little over a year since I started uploading videos on this channel. And it just so happens that my first ever video on this channel is a collection, collection showcase. I'll throw it up in the right hand corner. Go check that out. Now, granted, it's not going to be a good video, but this one should have a lot more cards in it. And I'm, I'm curious to see the, the difference between what I had a year ago versus now. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm going to do a complete collection showcase. Now, I know I have a couple of Stranger Things collection videos. I'll throw one of them up in the right hand corner, the recent one that I did. But I'm still going to show my Stranger Things cards in here along with everything else. So I got those stacks and I got those stacks right there. But yeah, let's just get right into it. All right, so I figured why not? Let's just start off with Stranger Things, get these, get through these pretty quickly. I'm not gonna go too in depth on these, but yeah, we got the Nancy Wheeler from season four, autograph, just the base one, not numbered. And then for my Stranger Things sketch cards, we got a couple of mind flayers here. I think these look pretty clean. I know that if you are in the, the, into sketch cards, uh, some of them just don't look as nice as others. And for, for the ones that I have, I had one other one, but I ended up selling it. Those are it for the Mind Flayer ones. And then, I mean, just look at these, right? You look at these two and you can clearly tell it's Steve and Hopper. The artwork is clean. Some of them just, they, they just don't, and no offense to the, the artist, but it's just some of them, they, they just don't look nice. And it's not appealing, not something that I'd want in my collection. So those are the only sketch cards that I have. And for my main Stranger Things collection, we have the season one and two colorful autos. So we got Mr. Wheeler here, base. We got the orange. These are numbered out of 99. The oranges are out of 99. I'm not gonna show every single back, but just uh, for the first couple of them. We got the green. These are out of 50. And I have a purple. These are out of 25, 25 to 25 right there. That's it for Mr. Wheeler. We got a base, Mrs. Holland. We got an orange and we have a green. And for Tommy, we got the base. Most of these cards, I have the base orange and green just because they're the easiest and most, most common autographs that I have that you could find on eBay. We got the green out of 50. And for the first blue that I'm showing you guys, we got the Tommy blue. These are out of 10. I think the blue is just the, the blue. It just looks so clean. The board, the blue border looks so. It's probably one of the cleanest, probably the second cleanest border in the autograph set outside of the 101. I've only seen one 101 ever, and it's the hopper out of uh, the hopper. It's graded. It's on eBay. I think it's still on eBay. The seller has it up for a stupid amount of money. So yeah, no one's ever gonna buy it. I don't know what kind of offers he's received, but yeah, that's a grail card of mine for sure. But for Carol, we got the base, we got the orange, we got the green, and we have another blue. Got the blue out of 10 here from season one. It's just so clean, so freaking clean. It's not even funny. We got the base, Mrs. Frazier. We got the green, and we have the purple. And what I like to do is the to kind of save, save, save space in this ion case that I have, I kind of only one touch up the purple blues and if i ever get a 101 that would be in there as well but everything above that is in a regular top loader but we got the mrs wheeler orange and for season two that's it for season one now we're on to season two we got erica green out of 50 we got officer powell orange and we have the green and the only ray one that i have we got the orange out of 99 and for the only cali actually we have a base. She does inscribe her autos, which I like. That's cool. Number eight, because she's number eight in the show. But I've never seen a blue out of 10 of this. I don't think I've ever seen a blue ever, ever. Some of these you just you just don't find. These are so incredibly hard to, to pick up over time. It's just, they, they, these autographs don't pop up, up often, especially the purple blues in one at once. You just don't see them ever, so... Got the Carol. She has one in season one and two. This is her season two. We've got the green. And for Mrs. Sinclair, we got the base orange. And we have the green. And the next stack this is it for Stranger Things here. We've got a purple Mrs. Sinclair out of 25. We got the Mr. Wheeler orange out of 
99 and we have the purple and the blue these two together just oh, the purple and blue combination just beautiful just beautiful oh my god unbelievable we got the mrs holland uh, base with the orange we got the green and we have the purple here out of 25 mrs henderson we got the base we got the orange the green and the purple i don't think i've ever seen a blue one of this ever <laughs> i'm not on ebay not a show ever it's just oh my god this is taking me a year if you especially if you go back and watch the the first collection video that i have i have so many more autographs than i did back then so and last but not least we got the mrs wheeler purple and blue so yeah got those there that's it for my stranger things collection now let's move on to marvel the very few marvel cards that i have i sold off a good amount of them so these are the ones that i have for the pc for platinum 2023 platinum we got wolverine this is the teal wave out of 7.99 packed that one myself along with this one we got the silver surfer blue tracks out of 4.99 Marvel Platinum card is just beautiful. The artwork is just insane. Just insane. And we have the Tarantula. I picked this one up on eBay. The Purple Pixels out of 35. And then for the autographs I have for Platinum, we got Nick Fury, just the regular red rainbow, not numbered. And for the two numbered autographs, this is probably my favorite Marvel Platinum card that I have. We got the MJ Orange Rainbow Autograph. These are number 235. So MJ there. And we have Vulture. Also, out of 35, Orange Rainbow Auto. The autograph is just incredible. I mean, just look at that. That is an incredible autograph. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And for our, my Marvel autographs, I've actually packed both of these, which is which is insane with the, how many boxes I've opened. I've only packed two autographs. But I have a Agnes from WandaVision. Still looking to pack that... Mm, elizabeth olsen autograph so maybe one day maybe one day but we have a wong autograph this is from dr strange multiverse of madness the strange sigs likable character right there and a the last marvel card that i have got the uncle ben pmg these are out of 100 this is from 2021 skybox so yeah only pmg that i have I definitely want to pick up more eventually, but they're just, they're not cheap. Marvel PMGs are not cheap. They are expensive cards. And moving forward, go on to my random slash Game of Thrones non-sports card stack. So yeah, let's, we'll save Game of Thrones till last. But starting off, we've got the Heroes sketch card. Open up a box of this, start up in the right-hand corner. Open up a box of this on a channel. One of my favorite TV shows growing up as a kid. Let me know down below if you've seen the show before. It's it's honestly, if you've, if you've seen it, it's, a, it's such a great show. It is such a great show. But yeah, managed to pick up a box from Tops, and I got lucky. And especially since it's a good-looking sketch card, we got Nikki Sanders on there. Her name in real life is Allie Lartner. So yeah, just a sick-looking sketch card there. And the only Star Wars card that I have, we got a Sebulba, just a regular silver auto from Platinum, or not Platinum, Chrome. I only kept it because it's he's from episode one, I believe, with the pod racer race. I think that's episode one, where young Anakin partakes in the race. He's one of the participants in that race as well. So that's why I kept that, but yeah. Moving on to, I guess, actor, I don't know, I don't know. I don't even know what to call the stack, but we got a Tara Reed Pop Century autograph. This is the number parallel to 12. I don't know what the name of it is, but <laughs> only reason I have this is she is in one of my, she's not, not one of, she is in my favorite movie series of all time, American Pie. You have to check that out. If you haven't seen those movies, definitely check those out. Phenomenal movies. <laughs> she was one of the main characters in them. So yeah, have that there. And another character or another actor from American Pie got Jason Biggs as Jim. 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 <laughs> Amazing movie. This is from Alan and Ginter. There are parallels to this, but I want to pick them up eventually. I just don't know when. <laughs> I just have that one for now, but yeah. Next, we have some um Umbrella Academy autos. These are picked up recently, but yeah, we got Ken Hall as Herb. And then we have the father and son duo 
we have oh no this is the same i think this is the same guy this is the same wait is it i don't know we got harlan and carl no i honestly don't know i think this is i don't know i don't know I, I i'm confusing myself right now but we got those three autographs from umbrella academy there hoping to pick more up eventually along the way but oh uh, uh, so this is all Game of Thrones here. Let's do these real quick. We have some Garbage Pail Kids. We got the 80th anniversary show from the Spilly, Philly non-sports card show. Went to that this year, and that was a promo card. So went with my dad. Fair to keep it since we went together. And then actually both of these I packed with my dad as well. This one I packed back in, when was this? 2015. So I think, I, yeah, I packed it. I bought a blaster box from Target. And this was in it, which is insane, and I've kept it ever since. So, yeah, <laughs> this will probably stay in my collection till the day I die. Along with this one here, went to a my local card shop, and I didn't even know it was Top Trading Card Day. And they had these. It was Garbage Pail Kids, I think baseball and wrestling, I think it was. And I chose Garbage or my dad chose Garbage Pail Kids, actually. And he actually packed this, so I still have it. And I'm going to keep that for the rest of my life as well. So, yeah, that's that. And then to move on to Game of Thrones, literally just <laughs> literally all the same autographs, just different names. But for the only other card that's not autographed, I have a sketch card, 101 sketch card from Game of Thrones. I think this is from season five. Packed this myself. Only sketch card I've ever packed from Game of Thrones ever. These are insanely hard to pack. And yeah. I'm almost certain this is from, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is the scene from when Bronn and Jamie try to go rescue, not re rescue, Marsala from the Martells. And I think that's, that's what it's from, but I'm not sure. If you see something different, let me know. But I think that's what it's from. So we got that there. And the rest of these are Game of Thrones, Full Bleed Autos. This is my main, one of my main collections right now, so... Yeah, we got Fintane McCown. If you haven't, go check out the, the video I did on these uh, on what I'm trying to complete here. But yeah, I'm essentially going for the master set, but I kind of explain it more in that video. But yeah, I'm not really going to go over names because I'm not going to not gonna flip them over, but I'm just going to show you guys. I'll, I'll kind of point out the names that I know. Here we have Jojen Reed. He was an actor in the Maze Runner movies. If you've ever seen the Maze Runner movies. Those are great movies. He's in there. He's also a pretty big character in Game of Thrones as well. We got Thomas Brody Sanctor there. We got Lancel Lannister with his super religious, I guess, phase. <laughs> we got Mace, Mace Tyrell, right? Yeah, we got Mace Tyrell. Podrick. Podrick, one of my favorite characters from the show. Amazing character there. We got one of the Martells, the wife. We got Roos Bolton. We got Septa Unella. She was also in Sex Education, if you watched that on Netflix. This is one of Jackson's moms. So, yeah, that's cool if you watch both those shows as well. We got Walda Bowen Bolton. We got, here we go. Here's another character from another movie. This, if you've seen Pitch Perfect 2, this is the main lead female singer in Doss Sound Machine. So, that's also cool as well. We got Hot Pie. <laughs> we got Hot Pie there. We got Robin Aaron. Not really sure. No, that's his, uh, this is the High Septum. We got Young Hodor here. We got Kitty Frey, Lady Kitty Frey. Not really sure who this is, but needed that for the set. Same with, I think this is Angwai. Angai? Yeah, Angai there. There's a bunch of uh, the cheaper ones that I've been picking up so far. We got one of the Starks, Rakan Stark there. We got that one, we got this one, DNS Jagger, got that, we got this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure their names in the show. This is this is this is Masala, right? Yeah, this is the young Mursala. Young Mursala. We got Monst Rider, probably the best one that I have, value-wise. Packed this one myself in the art and images set that it came from. We got Viser is it what Targaryen is this? King Ares. We got King Ares the second Targaryen there. The Mad King. <laughs> Will he make an appearance in House of the Dragon eventually? Who knows? But yeah, and then we got another one of the Martells. 
that's it for Game of Thrones. So we're almost at the end here. Put those to the side. And last, last part of my collection, we got some hockey. This is the only, yeah, literally two, essentially three players that I collect, collect, I guess. Two of them I actually collect. The other two are just, I have just because they're good, good cards for longer term, I guess. I'm not really in a rush to move them. But yeah, the two main people that I collect, Simone Gagne and Danny Briere. Loved watching them as a kid growing up for the Philadelphia Flyers. Massive Flyers fan. Massive Flyers family, actually. And these two just loved watching them when I was a kid, especially Simone Gagne. One of my first jerseys I've ever had for Flyers. So that's cool. And they're both on this card here. So got the got the be a player signature dual auto. And another card that they're both on. And this one's actually kind of more special because, well, they're both on it, first of all. Second of all, we got a three color pass from Danny Briere. And this is game worn. This is game worn. But this is 12 out of 35, and Simone Gagne is number 12. So this is a jersey numbered patch. Picked this one up on eBay for a pretty good price. So, yeah, love to have that in the collection. And then for solo autographs, we got Danny Rear from the Chronology. We got the Sign of the Times from 0405. And I also have the Simone Gagne to pair that with because they played together. So they have cards in the same sets mostly. So we got that there. And then the rest of these are Simone Gagne. But we had another sign of the times there from Gagne. We got the chronology auto to pair that with the Briere as well. And then we got an auto fax, Gagne. We got a signature swatches. We have an authentic fabrics. These are a number out of 75, one off a jersey number, which is crazy. But I think I bought this off a of Com C a little while ago. Nice cheaper pickup. I mean, who's collecting Simone Gagne other than me? A very, very few amount of people in this world, I'm sure. But for the, we got the rookie review. I think this is an update because this is from 09010 and he was definitely not a rookie in 09010. They were actually going to the Stanley Cup finals that year in 2010. So that's cool. But these are out of 100. We got the 26. And actually, this is his actual rookie card, I believe. This is from, no, is it? This is from a 405. This is a rookie review. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure the, the specifics on what's a rookie and what's not, but. Yeah, we got the, I guess you could pair them together. They're both rookie reviews from SB Authentic. So that's cool. Got those there. And the best card in the collection, we got the Simone Gagne logo patch from Ultimate. One of one shield. Beautiful. Game worn on card autograph. You love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. I know there's one other one in the world. I have no idea where it is. If you know where it is, drop it down below. But yeah, have one of them there. And the other two, last two hockey cards that I have, both Alexander Ovechkin. I mean, come on, you can't go wrong with Ovechkin. Is he going to break the goal record? Who knows? But we got the dual patch autograph. It's slightly three color. You can kind of see the red tint down there, right there in the in the Ovechkin patch. But this is nine out of 35, one off of jersey number for Ovechkin, which is insane. But two future Hall of Famers, both have Stanley Cups. First ballot Hall of Famers, in my opinion, especially Ovechkin. Backstrom, I'm assuming he's a first ballot Hall of Famer because you wouldn't have had Ovechkin without Backstrom. Backstrom is literally feeding Ovechkin the box for most of his career. So that's a beautiful card there. And we have a Alexander Ovechkin sign of time. This is second year or second or third year from 2007 SP Authentic. Gem Mint 10 autograph on card sign of the times. So that is my collection my complete collection what i have so far thank you guys for watching let me know down below what you guys think if you saw anything you liked if you collect the same things as well let me know down below but thank you guys for watching stay tuned to the next video bye